Hi guys and gals and welcome back to the channel. Today I've ventured out on the mid stretch of the Trent for the barbell session and as you can see the weather is atrocious. It's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> Although I'm really wanting my rod tip to go. Right now I'm just thinking please get five or ten minutes. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> look at it. Just look at that. I know we've been wanting some rain, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know if you can make it out on camera, but there's a guy just fishing down on the bend there. That's another barbell angler. And unless somebody's just arrived recently, I'd say we're the only two on the whole stretch <laughs> so we've had a choice of what peg to fish today Jesus, it's coming down heavier. Oh my god. Oh please Rod Tip, please don't go yet. <laughs> please don't go. Oh my god. I think this is in fit day as well. I fished down here last week, uh, fished one of the pegs a bit further up river and I'd say the river's risen probably about three inches since last week. Could really do we about another seven or eight inches up. I'll tell you what, it's a fantastic setting. We're in the middle of autumn. The leaves are starting to fall. Uh, and it's really one of the best times for barbel fishing really just now. Because the barbel are going to be bulking up for the winter. So they'll be readily feeding. So you guys, come on, get out there, get fishing. So we don't feed any luck. Right. Get this bloody hood up. It's raining cats and dogs. It's all clear. Got some more ground bait in my feeder. I'll show you a bit later what ground bait I'm using and the rest of my setup. me to get it tangled around and get it rod. There we are, it's getting tangled. It's better. Right, we're all set. <laughs>
Right, I've had to slacken my drag right off because the bait runner catch on the reels absolutely knackered. Uh, field in Sheffield earlier he, he had 10 barbell out and uh, he gave me a, one of his 14 uh, millimeter cheesy garlic pellets uh, I put that on and uh, within what 30 minutes I was into that lovely barbell unfortunately my wireless microphone the battery died on that so uh, there's no sound on it so hopefully things can only get better now sitting here I got time it's clear to see oh, it's fish on again and it's another barbel this time on a 14 mil sauce pellet Going on a run there. Oh yeah, it's 
that's another nice fish this Yes, it looks like, after all those hours of looking like a blank, the barbel have finally moved up into my peg. Ho ho ho! Oh, this is why I come barbel fishing. Nothing quite beats the run of a barbel. Ease it in nice and gently. Oh yeah. Oh that looks like a nice size one. Another lovely barbel. I'll just let it recover before I take it out of the water and remove the hook. Well, another lovely mid-trent barbel and another one that's in good condition too that's what I like to see can't see any marks on it from this side its fins look its fins look perfect so yeah another lovely mid-trent barbel Right, I think I'm going to call it a day. Uh, to sum today up, I'd say it's been a bit of a mixed day really. Uh, I arrived here two and a quarter hours later than planned. Uh, my own fault really, I overlaid and, and these things happen. <laughs> uh, and when I arrived here, there was just one other chap on the stretch and it was absolutely silent it down so to set up camp and my camera equipment as well in torrential rain so that went a good start then i went something like about what probably f five or six hours where i was just getting the odd small knocks uh, the guy a couple of pegs away from me uh, 
he packed up uh, he'd had 10 barbell a uh, really nice guy uh, from Ecclesfield in Sheffield so not too far away from my neck of the woods in Barnsley uh, and all the barbell he caught he caught on 14 mil uh, cheesy garlic pellets which he kindly gave me a, a box full but uh, I just took one out and gave him the rest back and within half an hour I was into my first barbell uh, unfortunately uh, my microphone battery decided to pack in uh, I was testing out a wireless mic and the battery only lasts for five hours so that packed in on me just as I were uh, into that first barbell uh, so yeah things could have gone better then I switched to a 14 mil source pellet and about what an hour later I was into my second barbell so yeah so the day has finished quite well really 